Hey guys, The Bloon here, and today's another BTD6 video, and today's gonna be bloody puddles on hard with no monkey knowledge and no abilities. You are gonna need bin though, so make sure you have them, otherwise you cannot do this strategy. And then once you get bin, make sure you get the sushi skin too, cause it's really cool. And the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take a sub and we're gonna place them all the way to the left over here, as far left as you can get it. And then you're going to go longer range. And once you have longer range, you can see that he covers all three of these tracks, covering the whole left side on his own. We're then gonna hit play and then go up to the top right corner and make sure that auto start is off. I'm going to turn off auto start for this entire game and you guys should too because we are going to have to make placements and buy towers and sell towers and I don't want the extra difficulty of balloons rushing through while you're trying to do that so just make sure that auto start is off. Now at the end of the first round we're going to take a dart monkey and we're going to place him right here and then we're going to hit play. Now the whole name of the game in the beginning of this is just to lose the least amount of lives as possible. Now you're never going to lose enough to lose but we're just going to try to make sure that we don't lose that many by buying and selling weird stuff. So we're going to get rid of this guy and then we're going to buy a sub so we only use that dart just to help us pop a little bit in that last round and now we're going to hit play again now for round seven all the balloons go down the middle of the track and this guy can't hang which is a little bit of vision so what we're going to do is we're going to get this dart monkey right here and we're just gonna have him help out a little bit now if i learned anything while developing this strategy for hard mode on bloody puddles it is that i am not going to probably be doing chimps anytime soon i do apologize for that guys but there are so many steps for hard mode i can't imagine adding another 20 rounds to that with some crazy abilities and things like that this map is just crazy like granted this is going to be really easy but you probably have to follow along like every single step just to make sure it's easy because there's a lot of little things like we're going to sell this guy again there we go and then after that we're going to buy this twin guns now if you guys only have like 484 or 483 three that does happen that's happened to me before don't worry about it because the beginning of this round is very slow so you can just pop the first two balloons or so and then get your twin guns and now you're good to go there now during round 10 we are going to buy twin guns for the top right sub and then we're going to go back to this guy and save up 1080 for ever starts let's grab ever starts before round 15 and then i can guess or you can guess what we're going to do next probably so at the end of round 18 i'm going to buy ever starts for the top right sub and then i have 57 lives you guys could have 55 45 65 just give or take 10 or so but like i said we're never gonna lose enough to lose just you're gonna probably be in that ballpark as well now the next thing we're gonna want to do is we're gonna get longer range on our top right sub make sure it's your top right sub because what we're gonna do is get advanced intel for him and then he's going to help this guy pop because he has these three tracks covered he has these two tracks covered but unfortunately the middle track is two sets at once or the whole set and he can't hang on his own so this guy's gonna help him out so we're gonna get 540 for him so here we go with that advanced intel and now the next thing we want to do is get ready for the camo on round 24 and also just to give us more range in general because we have to wait a while for this guy to pop down here so we're going to grab this guy there long range and then enhanced eyesight now what i was kind of going for was i was trying to place him a little lower so then his bubble doesn't like overlap into the top of the screen like i just did there because you can give him a little bit more range and move him down a little bit but it's not that big of a deal we'll be okay now what we're going to do is we have this guy with advanced intel and air bursts we have this guy who's just a 002 and then we have this guy who is not advanced do not get advanced intel we are now going to save up um for let me think let me think so many steps i didn't write anything down i should have wrote it down but i think we're okay we're on round 26 so we need to get a sniper for those leads so let's put it right above this guy because as you can see that's pretty much not much of the track is blocked if you put him above your little dart right there so we're gonna go there put him on strong and then get full metal jacket now our leads are covered so now do not get advanced intel on this guy i know you want to because i want to and i keep almost doing it we're gonna save up 1295 for ben so during round 29 we're gonna place ben and we're gonna place him right here into the side to give this sub a little bit more range so as soon as you can get them before the round ends make sure it's before the round ends do that because as soon as you get Ben you start making that money need that money there we go 150 bucks just like that and now finally we can get advanced intel on this far left sub our, our first sub I guess right so let's get advanced intel on him and then what we're going to do we're pretty much almost there to start saving up and just getting more power on these guys. But as you can see, we do not have everything covered. So we're gonna take another dart monkey right here. We're gonna go long range, enhanced eyesight. This bottom of this track's kind of giving us problems, right? Cause we can't hit them until they're up here. And then this side of this far left one, the same story over here. So we're gonna go long range, enhanced eyesight. We have to double duty this track a little bit with two camo guys, but it's worth it because we're gonna have one here, one here, one here, one here. For now we're just good to go guys. And then we have Ben here to help him pop a little bit there. Sorry guys, this track has just made me lose my mind. There's so much going on here and it's like oh my gosh but let's grab this guy triple guns and then we're going to save up 1190 for this guy's triple guns triple guns before round 35 because 35 can be a little sketchy sometimes so just 
I mean, close your eyes. I'm just kidding with that. But what you are going to want to do during 35 is get fast firing for 430. And then you're going to want to grab another even faster firing once you get 430 again. Not sure that's 100% necessary. It's just what I do. And it, I think it helps in my head. So that's good enough for me. And then we're going to take an alchemist for 595 and then place it right next to our sub like so. And we're going to get him to larger potions, acidic mixture dip, and then berserker brew. Here we go with that berserker brew on round 37. And now we are safe to save up 3240 for the armor piercing darts. So here we go with those armor piercing darts. I did lose a couple lives there on 39, but it does not matter because sushi bin's been giving us lives and we have more than we're going to need. So it's all right there. And that may happen to you. And don't worry about it. Now for round 40, we don't have to do anything. Just let it kind of roll through. We have a brewed up dude over here. So we're more than good to go. And now we're going to save up 3240 to get this guy to stronger stimulant. Here we go with stronger stimulant. And then I want 700 for faster throwing. I know it's better to go with that middle path if you just got the one tower, but we are going to fill up this pool with subs later on. So I'm just getting him ready for that. And it really doesn't matter either way. He's going to like stay fully uh, in, like stronger stimulant buff the whole time. And that's what we're looking for here. So we're all good to go. And now with another 3240, we're going to buy armor piercing darts for this top right one. And then you guessed it. We're going to place this alchemist here and we're going to go larger potions, acidic mixture dip, berserker brew, and then stronger stimulant for this guy as well. But do not get the middle or bottom path upgrade for this guy he does not need it we're gonna sell both of these guys later on so we're just gonna have them here to help us for now we're just using them for now so here's our stronger stimulant on the end of 47 now what we're gonna do now is we're gonna save up 1350 for a farm now as soon as you get that 1350 i want you to place the farm right here and the reason why i want you to do it as hastily as possible is because i want us all to have the same money if i place it down before you i'm gonna have some more money if you don't put in the right round i don't know how all the all actually works but just place it down as quickly as you can so we can all be on the same page and then we're going to go quickly for the top path farm. And then we're going to go for the bottom path to do the marketplace because that's the easiest one to keep track of. If you do the banks and you deposit, if you're using monkey knowledge, which I found out is a monkey knowledge, just a deposit. I don't even know that. But long story short, you might have more money or different money and you won't understand what's going on. So let's all be on the same page here. We're going to place a farm right here. We're going to get increased production. All, of course, while picking up your bananas. Don't forget to pick them up, get greater production. And we're going to go for this bottom path, easy collect banana salvage. We're going to get 3130 for that marketplace. I like to slow it down too. And I'm about to upgrade to my farm just so I can get it as quickly as possible. Now this isn't the best farm. I don't think it is anyway, but it works for this. Like I said, it just keeps us, it keeps us honest and we all have the same money. You know what I mean? Now we'll, let's grab one more and place it here. As soon as you get that 1350, we'll get increased production. We'll get greater production, 650, there you go. Make sure you collect all your bananas too. We're gonna go easy collect, banana salvage. Again, while we're collecting all these bananas, this is a lot of work. This is why I go for the marketplace too. I'm super lazy. And so it's kind of difficult to have to like collect and play, collect and play all that kind of stuff. So it's pretty cool to not have to do that. Here we go with that marketplace. Now I feel good. Now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna save up and we're gonna get through, I wanna say round 60. I don't exactly remember. We're gonna get through round 60 on our own and then we're gonna have to like sell and buy some things, that kind of stuff. And I think 10 rounds is enough to make money back on this guy because if you think about it, it's 400 per round times, I think it's 400 per round times 10, which would be 4,000. I can sell it for 4,300, so that's 8,300. I don't think it costs 8,300 to buy it. I think we're profiting with that second one. For the first one, 100%, but I don't know about the second one, but I think we are, let's roll with it. On 55, I lost, I think 10, 15 lives there. Again, no big deal. It's You might lose a couple there, but it's no big deal. I'm just gonna point out the times that I lose lives. So if you guys think like, what the heck, I lost some lives. I'm just gonna let you know that I did as well. And I'm not worried about it. You guys do have Ben's first ability if you are scared, but remember that if you use Ben's ability at the wrong time, then you're gonna be left with no towers working because they're all gonna have that little red flashy thing telling him that he can't attack for a few seconds, which could be pretty dangerous if you don't time it right. So. That's why we're just not going to use them at all. Your second ability is totally safe. And honestly, if you just wanted to keep spamming your second ability, so every time it popped up, you're going to make more money and you're going to have it a lot easier because if you did it, the timing was right, then you're going to, you know, reduce the Moabs to loons. You're going to reduce the BFBs and Moabs. And it's really, really cool. I'm just not going to use it because it's a very random thing. Oh, actually, no, hang on, guys. 59. We can't do this on 59. I get so carried away with the sound of my own voice because I'm a crazy person, but you can't just hit play on 59. And remember guys, this is not chimp. So if at any time you do what I do and you just make a dumb move, hit the escape button, hit the gear button, whatever you want to hit, hit the home button and come right back just like I did. I can't believe I did that. I'm just sitting there yap, 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 yapping. Okay, so for 59, what happens is you guys know it all too well that the alchemist 
sometimes will let you pop all of the camo leads on 59 and you're just like wow 59 was a breeze other times they won't pop any and by them i mean like they're not buffing these guys to pop them and we don't want to take any of those chances i tried it with the wall of fire i tried it with a bunch of different things the thing that worked every single time for me is what we're about to do it costs a little bit more money but it's a guarantee and i love it so what we're going to do is we're going to take a village right here right and we're going to place it not in this little bend here okay we're going to place it right above our sub and the reason why it's like right above as close as we can get it kind of like that is because later on on, we're going to have a bunch of other subs in this pool with this soon to be sub commander. So we're just going to plan ahead here a little bit. So we're going to get bigger radius, grow blocker, radar scanner. Now, as you can see, now this pool right here is full of like, you know, the range of the village and we can place subs here later on. I don't know what's going with that. But anyways, now we can take this bomb shooter and what we're going to do is we're going to put it to close to this track as possible in range of the village. So that's if you can only get it as close as I'm getting it, again, no big deal because we are going to upgrade it and we're going to go bigger bombs, heavy bombs, really big bombs, balloon impact, faster reload and missile launcher. And what's great, 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 great about this is not only is it perfect for 59 and you can just close your eyes and let this thing run, it's perfect for 63 as well after we make some other modifications because I was having a lot of problems in 63 as well. 59 and 63 were just my killer because even with sub commander, 63 was getting wrecked. I tried it with the flame dude. I tried it with other things and it just wasn't working and I wasn't happy about it. So let's pop this uh, BFB as is right now. And this guy's going to help out with well. All right. So now we're going to have to do a bunch of crazy stuff to get ready for 62 and 63. But it's not that crazy. What we're going to do is we're going to sell this guy here. Sell this banana farm. Sell this alchemist. Sell this sub. And then we're going to buy this sub to a sub commander. But wait, there's more guys. There's more. So what we're going to do is we're going to have to replace the site that we had over here with the sub and the alchemist. We're going to get him right here close to this water so you can see up the track. We're going to go long range, enhanced eyesight. And then we're going to grab another one right here in the middle because we want all eyes on board over here just because it takes longer for the sub to get over here. And by the time he reaches this one, sometimes it's too late. We don't want to mess with any of that. So what then we're going to do is remove this guy. So $1,000. And then, of course, it crashes. Ba boom. And then we're going to remove it again for $500 this time for good. And now we are safe for 61, 62 and 63. So for 63, it's actually kind of cool to watch just because how cool this guy works. He gets pretty much everything. And if he doesn't, I mean, this guy's going to clean it all up. But look at this guy go. So he's not like the biggest popper, but I mean, the way he just stops all these balloons in their place, giving this guy enough time to clean them up is just the synergy is beautiful, guys. And I love it. And it looks like sometimes it'll go through, but that's just the visuals of the map being too short but i think now i would like to get let's get some jungle drums here i think we should upgrade just a little bit here to speed this guy and this guy up just to help out because there are going to be like a overwhelm of see as you see with those like fortifies we might lose a life or two there nothing too crazy but you just want to make sure that you're you're safe and good to go now our next big round to worry about is 69 so we have to have the mib for 69 so now i'm just trying to remember which was the path i did like we could buy it right now but it's not really going to help us right now so i think what i want to do since 69 is not for a little bit here is I want to buy another sub, but I only want to get this sub to airburst starts for now. So we're going to get a 202 just to help out a little bit. Nothing too crazy. See, as you can see, it's helping. And then we're going to get MIB on these two. So we'll get 8,100 just like so. And now when the leads pop out on 69, we don't have to worry about anything. And in the meantime, we can save up for triple guns and we can feel safe knowing that we have our MIB. Let's grab triple guns on 67. And then of course, save up 3240 for armor piercing darts. I do apologize. I should have wrote some stuff down, but at the same time, if I would have wrote it down, this would have taken like six hours to make. And I would have had to do a bunch of retakes because I would have said the wrong thing because I have a problem reading my own writing sometimes. But let's just do it this way. I think it's working. We're getting through it just Fine. And like I said, if you have any crazy problems, you can just hit the home button and you can start it over if you're a little worried about what's going on or you have Ben's cool ability. So what I recommend to you guys, if you guys are a little afraid of just going and putting all this effort into this and then having something not work out, what you could always do is you could just spam that second ability. Every time that second ability is ready, hit it and you're going to make some money and pop some balloons super easy. Uh, now let's take our third sub and place it right here, also in range of the MIB. So it doesn't necessarily have to be in range of the alchemist because we're going to place another one here and he can't really hang with this guy anyway. But what you do need to have is that it's in range of the MIB. Otherwise, you're just wasting a bunch of pops on leads that isn't gonna help us. Let's get triple guns and then we'll get armor piercing darts. As you can see, we're wrecking it here, guys. I love this. The only thing I don't like, and I was a little skeptical, but it's worked every time and I haven't had any problems, is that those sub missiles, right? Like they can't not be random. Like they're totally random. Let's get armor piercing darts for this second or third sub right here. So we have one, two, three subs. Uh, you can't say it's 
not random because look he just shoots them and then like if he pops that one it kind of just flies off into the distance somewhere and you're just like what in the heck is going on but i guess it works right it gets the job done it's crazy though now let's take our fourth i think i just let's say fourth and final just make sure it's in range of the mib and then we're gonna go again long range advanced intel twin guns airburst starts and ripple guns and armor piercing nerds so i'm getting my fourth sub armor piercing darts during round 75 and as you guys know round 75 can be kind of difficult with all those fortifies but we just wrecked it here's 76 now 76 is that round i'm not going to do it because i'm going to show you that we can do it with what we have here but what i am going to tell you to do is hit play and hit your second ability as fast as you can and if you hit the timing right then all of these are going to turn into nothing balloons and you're going to wreck through it with even easier than that plus you're going to make a lot of money so yeah i just want to make sure that i read that correctly yeah so it drops them down one rank and then cash per pop from effective the balloons is double so like i just said on round 76 and then at the beginning of 78 hit play and then hit that second ability to make extra money now at the end of round 76 we're going to take another alchemist place it right here and we're going to go larger potions city mr dip berserker brew and we're going to go stronger stimulant and faster throwing we go with that stronger stimulant right during the beginning of 78 and remember i told you guys you can use your second ability there to make the first rush like nothing but as you can see it was nothing these subs are wrecking it we're putting all of our faith into these like random guided missiles that could just are just spinning around in circles not knowing where to go but i'm totally okay with that it's totally working now we are done so you can buy extra stuff if you want to to save up the money you can take this to round 100 and get your instas if you want to what i would do at this point since these guys will go for a good while like this i'm pretty sure i think we can probably kind of be the judge on round 80 so like if round 80 we take out the zomg quick then you'll be able to take out the two zomgs i think it's on like 82 or 83 so what i would suggest right now is just farm 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 and then kind of hit home if you have any problems later on i'm talking for a later game if you guys want to take this to 100 i'm gonna quit it out at 80 i just want to show you guys how to beat on hard mode without any monkey knowledge if that's what you're looking to do and of course without any abilities because that makes it even easier uh but i now i look back like was this easier there's so much to do here and there's so much going on it's kind of insane again you can drop quincy quincy you can drop sushi bin second ability so hit play and then at the same time like really fast hit your second ability and this will turn into a bfb and make it even easier but we're gonna wreck it through as a zomg because why not we totally can yeah, but I hope you guys enjoyed that. I know it's a little lengthy and I was a lot of talky, but I think you guys will get to that. No problem. Just do what I said and did and you guys will have no problems and let me know below too because i think that i was just working on a round 100 deflation if you guys need that update i've been getting some comments that my microing or the no micro one is kind of outdated now not working so i did find another one with a couple planes and an etienne and it was actually really cool you do need all your monkey knowledge though but it's actually really easy and a lot of fun so if you guys need an updated version of that let me know and i will start working on that one but with all that said i hope you guys enjoyed hit that like button hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and i will see you guys next time